Hello guys and welcome to another PvP video on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So it's going to be the same old. We're going to talk a little bit about game stuff. Going to see some PvP gameplay and commentary. There you see I try to sneak in the keep. I don't have the stamp to break it, but here's where it just gets me. I mean, I can't use the keep door. So I decide, okay, I'm going to try to heal myself. Weapon swap taken just ages. <sighs> I mean, oh man, that lag, hey? I feel like I'm, uh, at this point, I'm obligated in every video to outline the bugs and lag in this game because it's just so bad. PvP is so terrible so much of the time. Look at this again. What is this? Why can't I attack him? Someone please. No, just nothing. Just nothing. But yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think it's maybe even our job as content creators to put a little bit of pressure on Zoss because this is just like... It feels like this game is being run on one hamster wheel and one hamster wheel alone. And outside of that main hamster wheel, nobody's got it going on. Here you see the dragon leap from behind. From behind the wall, he gets me with the leap. Oh, man. Anyway, Cinemax at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump into that PvP footage. We've had enough of the silly bloopers. So today, for you guys, I have a rather lengthy... 2vx fight so this is actually with some guy that i have never fought with before prior to this engagement here he just ran into me we ran into each other and ended up taking this resource together and as you can see we're going to try to hold it against the hordes of ad and here they come there to come the negates down we put a little bit of pressure into that first guy there but they are getting some heals on their characters as well i go for a stun on this uh squishier looking player there and i managed to get him pretty decently damaged but still a lot of pressure coming out of these opposing players here so in this uh video here my teammate is actually running beckoning steel and uh not only is he running guard i talked to him after this fight so not only is he running guards to decrease the damage that i take by 30 percent here you can see they're all focusing on him and uh any damage they throw at me it just does so little thanks to that guard so not only does he prevent my incoming damage by 30% by guarding me, but he also has a 50% chance to intercept projectiles that are thrown at me. So he's giving me a lot of defensive protection by being the tank in this fight. So here you can see he worked his way upstairs. He has the other players kind of on top of him. This guy finds himself by himself with me and I end up getting the quick kill on that Templar there. And uh, it seems like he may have lost some of the other players. They've kind of jumped around seem to he went upstairs and then back down so they're coming back inside now get a really nice stun off on that guy there here you go we see the power of the light on the guy going for the res i actually decide not to combo him down seeing he's a little bit tanky um i get a nice stun off on this player here seeing the low hp i go for the heavy attack dawn breaker execute finish him off and uh, we're still just kind of fighting in here. Here you can see he's just making me very hard to kill. I don't have to try too hard to defend myself. And these yellow seem to understand that in order for me to go down, they're going to have to put a lot of pressure on the tank as well. So they're continuing to kind of ignore me here. Now, maybe it would be a good call to put a bit more pressure on me. But that ultimately allows the tank to have more time to do things like, well get his HP back, get his resources back, keep me buffed, and keep me healed. Um, he's also using, uh, we have the Harvest Synergy here, so if I do need the heal, I can always pop the Harvest Synergy for quite a massive heal from this guy. But the AD continue to come. We've killed a few of them on the staircase there, but they're resin their buddies. We've got a few more guys running back as well. Um, I drop down below here, seeing the DK a little bit lower on life, but it's always that low HP DK troll, where they just hold block and they don't die. Finally managed to bring him down after so many executes my tank buddy keeping an eye on me here making sure that i'm okay which is absolutely awesome that's what you need to see from some tank gameplay i tried to go for the crit rush here to finish this guy off but unfortunately it doesn't work and i don't en end up being able to close the gap looking at you zena hacks try to go for the kill there but a little bit too much cc from these guys so i'm unable to uh actually capitalize on it here um my teammate jumps down as well he's just going to keep me guarded make sure that i just <laughs> How unattractive 
do of a target does this combination look like? I mean, like, here you see one harvest is just almost a full health heal for me, and I can pop that every 10 seconds. I can use that synergy. So it's uh, it's quite a good combination here. I actually I like playing Ghost when paired with a tank. I think it pairs best with a tank, and even better with a tank like this, where he's uh, actually, his job is to be a tank for both of us, not just himself. So working very well there. A little bit of a camera skip, as I did have to hit the record button there, but don't worry, it is the same fight. Um, just missed a couple frames there. And we're continuing to fight in this keep. As you can see, these guys are continuing to focus on the tank. Very little pressure on me. I'm, of course, still moving around here, trying to keep myself a little bit agile. But on top of it, his tank is also leaving his HP a little bit lower. And it makes it easier for him to be the first target, as opposed to me, who's sitting at full HP for most of this fight. Um, now, here we actually split apart. The tank goes behind here, but it's not such a big deal. I only got a couple players left on me. Put a bit of pressure into this Templar here. I dot him up real good. I I try to go for the javelin, I end up just missing it and landing only the heavy attack. And uh, he doesn't really react well and just lets me finish him off with another heavy attack there. And then the last player here, he's like, ah, shit. He's a tank as well. He's got 40k HP. So I'm just going to try to work on putting a bit of damage into this guy. My buddy here doesn't do a ton of damage. He's definitely more support role than anything else. And uh, so he's not going to be a lot of help finishing off this last player. But that pretty much wraps this up, guys. We're going to end up flipping this resource back, taking it back for the Pact. And we're actually going to end up capitalizing on uh, this last guy here. He's jumping around. He's like, it's over. It's over. I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm just making space so I can combo you properly. And here you see we put a bit of damage into him. A Nightblade comes up on the side there, goes back into stealth. So I decide to continue to focus on the tank here. It's keeping aware of that Nightblade to my left, though, because I don't want to get a bad gank thrown on me. Put a bit of good damage into this guy, get a really good stun off on him there. He doesn't seem to have the stam to break it or thinks he can tank it out. Either way, making the wrong choice there. We end up finishing him off as well. And then we finish off the last Nightblade. We don't actually get a nice O-Tick for this fight, guys, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but that is the end of the fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So to end today, I'm going to leave you guys with this little bit. Yes, ESO may be full of lag and bugs, but at least at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we can always be happy with that big fat tick. You guys know what I'm talking about. This was a tick I got outside of keep here, just casually repairing a wall. I was here for quite a bit of the fight, but uh, as you can see, it was quite worth if you guys enjoyed what you saw, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Have a great time, guys, and I hope to see you again in the future.